Hello everybody, it's me Bailey and I'm back on RPG Gaming today. And today I'd like to welcome you back to random fun things to do. And this week we did uh, on Battlefield 3 Hide and Go Seek. Now our rules for Hide and Go Seek is that, first of all, it, you can, there is one attacker and you cannot attack him but he can attack you only with a knife. Uh, same applies with the attackers, can, the uh, runners can only hold knives as well. And uh, once you get knifed, as this guy did here, you are infected and you help the attacker and just as you would in an infected game. Now here I was just walking up the stairs and Adam just decides he wants to commit suicide. Doesn't want to give me the glory of actually finding him and killing him. And I just move on. Now here is uh went around where I was the hider and uh, Casey was the attacker. And I've been sitting here for about six minutes and Casey was walking around and then he finally went down those steps and I knew he had to see me. So I was like looking through those windows like, oh, is he going to come over here? Oh, is he going to do this? Oh, oh, is he actually going to attack me? And I'm like, oh, snap, he actually does. Now, I was running. I run from KC for about 10 minutes after for through this entire thing. And through that, I kill everybody. Like here, I kill Adam. And later on, I kill Ad uh, Reagan, which you do not see. But I run for about 10 minutes and I finally get away from him and I get up here. Now, here, I just am just moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just, like, maybe feeling a bit of comfort here. But, because I feel like, oh, I'm not going to get killed. I'm not going to get killed. I just got here. I got away from everybody. But once I feel a bit of comfort, you know, this happens. And I die from Adam. Now, the next round here is we changed map. And me, Casey, and Reagan had been playing on this map for just a bit. And uh, while Adam ate, we, pra we practiced and we looked for spots. Now, we found some pretty, pretty good spots here. Um, it, they were just amazing. And as you'll see, this if you are, you know, playing this at all, you know, by yourself or anything, you should really use this spot, like, are you, if you're playing this with your friends. It's just amazing. And it's really, it's a glitchy kind of spot. Like, glitch, like... The authorities probably should fix this. But um, they, the, the attacker can't see you. Nobody can see you once you're inside this thing at all. Like, your legs don't hang out if you do it properly. And nobody will see you. And, you know, it's just amazing. Like, Adam actually gave up because he couldn't find any of us because we all hid in the cabinets. Now, uh, we did another round and we kind of gave Adam hints. And uh, he eventually found us. But, uh, so, but after that round, we did another one. And uh, I decided to hide in the bathroom. Because, you know, the cabinets were, you know, we already use them. I sat there for quite a bit, and uh, I told Reagan about it before he had died. And this is Reagan when he, after he died, and he came looking for me. And he goes and tells Adam afterwards. And then Adam comes into this bathroom and gets me. But th he, like, I don't even see him go through the door. That's the silly part. That's the part that made me frustrated. Now, here I'm the attacker again, and I walk right up these steps right after I spawn. In case he's just right flipping there. Right there, man. He he just I don't know. Bad luck for Casey on my his part. Now finally we have Reagan here in this final round, and it's Casey thought this was hilarious because we were looking for him for a while, and he, his foot was hanging at the wall. We just heard Casey laugh, and it just ended. But I appreciate you guys watching this. Please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.